Hey guys, Justin here, and this is the 2021 Pan America S, and installed on it we have the Jesse luggage panniers as well as the rack. Today we're gonna to talk about some of the features as well as the installation on both the rack and the panniers. So let's get into this. All right, first, really a nice option that Jesse Luggage offers is multiple colors for your panniers as well as your rack. They will powder coat it different colors. That way it matches your bike a little bit better. I clearly opted for black. I think that matches this bike really well. Another thing that's really nice about this setup is that for its volume to width ratio, this is 38 inches across. This is, I think, one of the highest volume per width ratios. So very narrow. These are the 10 inches. They also come in eight inches. And one other little feature I wanna show you while we're back here, these are called the keepers. There's a lock on these. And also when you do open up the lock, you have something to hold on to on both sides to be able to move around your panniers. There's a lock on both sides, so it makes it a little bit more secure. And these are really sturdy and well built. The panniers are double welded. So that allows for this really nice smooth look. And it's also for strength. It's welded on the inside and the outside. They're made in America, which I particularly like. Another really nice feature on these things is that you're able to move them forward and aft. That ability to move it forward and aft gives you the ability to change where your weight is. So some people who are really avid off-roaders, that's a nice feature for you to be able to kind of adjust things and keep things in a place that feels comfortable for you and for your specific rides. The last thing that I really want to showcase that I especially love are these friction hinges. So as you see, this lid doesn't just pop down. It uh, has a friction hinge. Um, that really gives you kind of the ability to kind of use this as a spot to maybe work off of a little workbench. You know, your tools might be right in the top lid packer. We're going to get into that in a second. And, you know, overall, there's a lot of volume and space in here. If you look inside here, there's a rib on the side right where this mounts. That's actually for extra strength. And yeah, just beautifully well built. One other option that I wanna mention before we get into the installation of this is that there actually is a mounting kit for the tops of these panniers that will allow you to have some more hooks if you wanna be able to latch some luggage onto the top of these. I don't have that installed on here, but it is something available on the website. I did, however, opt for the lid packers. This I think is just brilliant really maximizing all your space. So as you can see, the lid has this spring device. You don't need to get the bags. These are the lid packer bags, uh, but you could use this just to like hold down your, your foul weather gear. You could put a tool kit in here, but it, it will hold stuff in the lid, maximizing that space. If you do go for these lid packer bags, which I think are really nice and help you organize things. Also, you'll notice that I got the orange ones. That's if there is an emergency situation, I can put these on the side of the road and they're pretty bright. People will be able to see me coming up or whatever. And you know, I keep stuff in here like my satellite phone and I have some tool kits and stuff like that that will just kind of live in here. And if I need it for an emergency, it's right there. And I can tell people it's in the lid packer. One more thing before we get into the install of this rack and panniers, and that's just how aesthetically pleasing I think this rack looks with this bike. It matches it really well, it's very sturdy, and I just think as far as the racks that are out there, this is one of the nicest looking ones with this bike. All right, now let's hop into the actual installation. To do this installation, it's real simple. You really only need three tools. That's the included T40 wrench that comes in your toolkit with your bike, a five millimeter Allen wrench, and some Loctite. You'll need both sides of the rack. And last but not least, you're gonna need this crossbar with the included bolts. Let's do this. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is pull off the passenger foot pegs. I've already started working this out. We are going to use the OEM bolts. Those are the bolts that come on the bike. So we're just gonna reuse those. There will be a couple washers that will be included in the kit. I would install those washers in before we put this back on. These are four more T40 bolts that are OEM. You're gonna take these out, one, two, three, four. On this side, this foot peg actually has three bolts. One is on the exhaust, so just make sure you get that one off. It's got a little rubber 
piece that goes in the middle, a little rubber insert, so just don't lose that. I don't think it will pop out unless you really yank on it. And then these other two bolts here. Little pro tip, I like to keep my bolts up here just to make it a little bit easier. When you go to put the Loctite on, you're really just gonna wanna put it on the first like three to five threads here. Just kind of give it a little bit around. I'm making a huge mess here. But anyway, you get the idea. We're just gonna do a few threads, and then we'll feed that in there once we get this going. All right, here you'll see these two tabs are called standoffs. Real simple, all they do is slide in like so, and then you're gonna put these OEM bolts back in here. I don't tighten this stuff down until I get all the bolts in. So that's just another little pro tip. You're gonna use the T40 included tool with the bike to put these on. So again, I'm just gonna put a little Loctite on here. And just a reminder, there are some washers that are gonna be included in your kit. You're gonna to wanna to slide those in over these OEM bolts. And we are going to now insert these back in. So I'm not gonna tighten these down until I have all the bolts in place. There we go. Now once all these are fed in and lined up, now we can go ahead and tighten them down. I'm not exactly sure what the torque is, but you're gonna wanna give it a pretty good, good and tight. Definitely don't want this vibrating loose on a long trip. We call these right here the loops. You'll notice on the right hand side that they're not parallel with each other. That's because the loops need to be able to make it over the exhaust on the right hand side of the bike. So that's what differentiates this side of the rack as the right hand side. I mean, also this is facing forward, but anyway, just to help you out with that process, we're gonna slide this through, putting Loctite on. So just get these bolts started just enough. Now let's go put on the passenger peg. So on this side, I already put the Loctite on. Don't forget the washers once again. Okay, and last bolt that's really important, don't forget this one that goes into the exhaust here. This one doesn't need to be very tight. It's just kind of giving the exhaust a little bit of assistance and not putting all the weight down here. We can tighten down now. Again, give it a good crank. So we'll tighten these top bolts down. Okay, you'll notice on the crossbar here that one side is longer. That's obviously for the right-hand side of the bike. You'll also notice that there are these tabs here. These tabs are to keep this angled up. So when you install it, you'll see that uh, it kind of fits in a way that's gonna keep this locked up. For the crossbar, you're going to need the five millimeter Allen wrench. Again, we're not gonna tighten these all the way down at first. We're just gonna get them lined up. And then once they're lined up, you can go ahead and torque it down. So just notice the position on both sides of these tabs. On this side, it's on the top. And on this side, it's on the bottom here. And that's just to keep it from moving around. Okay, now that we have the rack installed, let's do the installation on the mounting brackets for the panniers. Okay, for this assembly, we're just gonna use these three tools here. You're going to have a eight millimeter. This is actually something that I now keep in my toolkit on the bike. You're also gonna have a two millimeter and the five millimeter again. The parts are as follows. The top piece is gonna be this big bolt here. There's a washer in here. 
There's also a gasket that is adhesive. You're going to take that adhesive gasket and place it on top of this puck here. You'll take the two set screws. You're going to push those through here. And then the next piece that will go on is this Delrin block. This is the top Delrin block. So that will, the set screws will go through and hold this in place. Once those set screws are in, then you're going to drive this bolt through the entire assembly. Get it to go. And the next piece is this stainless steel latch mechanism. And also included are some lock nuts. I'm not going to use the lock nuts because I like to be able to pull this thing on and off really easily. It's just another added step of having to get in there with a crescent wrench with the lock nut. But if you are going on a long trip and you're not really planning on taking off your panniers, it's really good to have that lock nut as an extra safety feature. You'll notice on this steel latch that there's a side that's slightly beveled. That beveled side actually faces in towards the bike. It's the flat side that's going to latch onto the loops. Okay, So it will look something like this and you'll just tighten from the inside. And we're gonna go over that in just a second. The bottom Delrin is this. Again, there's a gasket that comes with this. You're going to take the adhesive off and stick it onto this Delrin block. That's just to keep this more watertight, keep water from working its way into your panniers and potentially destroying your gear or whatever you have in there. And then on the inside, you're gonna have these two bolts that will just bolt on on the inside right here. When we go to install this, a really important thing to keep in mind is that when we actually put this on the rack, we're going to leave these a little bit loose at first. That will make it a little bit easier to line it up and get it installed on the rack, on the loops. So yeah, let's get into the inside here and show you what this looks like. First, we're going to start with the lower Delrin. This piece here, this groove needs to face down. That's going to latch into the hoop. So we'll put this here over these two holes. These are countersunk bolts. So obviously with this outer washer piece here, this is just to give more strength. But you're going to want to match up the countersink with that so that it's flat, flush when we go to put this in. So these two bolts, we're just going to leave a little bit loose. Here we go to install this. We want them to be a little loose and then we'll tighten it once we get it on. Next thing we're going to do is put the puck and the Delrin on. The Delrin faces like this, so you want these grooves top and bottom here. Okay, the puck goes on the inside, the Delrin goes on the outside. One other thing I forgot to mention earlier, you'll see there's actually another rubber gasket on this. Delrin here, you're going to want to make sure you put that on before you install these set screws. Before you tighten down these set screws, I'd suggest running the bolt through the main bolt just to make sure all the alignment is good. Now you can tighten these down. And you know, these just need to be tight enough that you're not going to work them out. You, you could put Loctite on these as well. Again, last thing, you just want to make sure this washer is on here. And slide this through, and we want to have the beveled edge facing outward. And we're just going to put it on a little bit loose here because the next step is to put the panniers on the bike itself. So, you know, just get it tight enough that you can twist it up into this groove and then tighten it the rest of the way. This assembly on both panniers is exactly the same, so we don't need to do this again. You guys can figure out how to do this on the other side. All right, so again, part of the beauty of the Jesse luggage is that you can move this forward or aft, just wherever is comfortable for you, whatever you want to do. This bottom Delrin is going to go into the hoop first. I'm going to slide that in. Then we're going to slide this top piece in. OK, now that the top piece is in, just going to turn this latch around, and now we can tighten it down. As far as on the inside here, there is a little bit of space to put that lock nut if you do want to go to that extra length to make sure 
that this doesn't work its way off. So we're gonna make sure this lower Delrin is seated down there. Once that's pretty good down here, we're gonna tighten up the top. Okay, now that, that this top piece is pretty much locked in, we're going to just tighten down the lower Delrin. All right, she's good to go now, sturdy as could be. The installation on the other pannier is exactly the same as this side, so just remember, keep those that lower Delrin a little bit loose at first, the first time you install it. After that, it should go on pretty easily, and you don't need to loosen and tighten the lower Delrin every time. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the tutorial on how to install the rack and the panniers. Thank you for watching. Make sure you visit jessieluggage.com for any pre-orders, orders. He's got a lot of really cool stuff on there and a great guy to work with.